Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to give you my review on the Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Concealer and share the footage and results of the wear test. So if you are interested in this topic, just keep on watching. Welcome, my name is Marisa and in my channel we talk about everything beauty and lifestyle focusing on over 40 issues. If you already saw one of my videos before, thank you for returning. If you are new to my channel and you think that my content might interest you, please consider subscribing. You just need to click on the red subscribe button below and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Also consider following me on Instagram, I publish almost daily beauty, lifestyle and sometimes cat related content on my Instagram stories. Let's start this review with some product details and claims. This concealer comes in the typical chocolate brown metallic cardboard box. It's produced in Korea. It has a suggested shelf life of one year and the component has 6 milliliters or 0.2 fluid ounces of product. And like all products from Hourglass are cruelty free, the component is similar to the one of the glosses from Hourglass with an almost square shape. The applicator is a doe foot one and it is slightly concavous here in the center where the concealer accumulates. It doesn't smell to fragrance. To me it smells to chemicals, or well, the smell is very light and not disagreeable. The concealer is retailed in 22 different shades, of which 5 gram silk, pearl, sienna and topaz can also be used as correctors. I got mine in the shade apricot. Regarding ingredients, this concealer's formula does not include synthetic fragrance or drying alcohol, which makes me very happy indeed. It's a mixture of water, silicones, mica and butylene glycol, which is a non-drying type of alcohol. It has several plant extracts with very good benefits for the skin, although I wonder, of course, if the concentration they are in will allow any positive impact. It also has fragrant plant extracts, which I was not expecting, because as I said previously, I did not notice any fragrant smell at all. Of the three present, the one with the highest concentration is the extract of chamomile flowers, which is one of my favorite teas, but it's also used in cosmetics to mask other scents. I'm going to show you now the footage of the wear test. I applied the concealer using the same method in both sides of my face, spreading it with a very tiny brush in order to make the application as precise as possible. And I then patted it using my fingers, but of course you can also use a sponge if you prefer. I set my right side as lightly as I possibly could using the By Terry Hyaluronic Powder. On my left side I applied the concealer exactly in the same way, but I did not set it. All in all, I think the result was good, although the eye that I had set looked a little bit more dry. Eight hours later, the concealer had faded, but it really still looked pretty decent. It had creased almost immediately after the application but I patted it again and I removed the excess with a brush 
and the cotton bud and with the exception of the lines beneath the bottom eyelashes it worked So what are my conclusions from the wear test? Well, I would say I got mixed results. Let's start with the pros. I totally agree that this is a full coverage concealer and that it has a lightweight feel in the skin. And it is indeed long wearing even without setting it with powder. Although, as expected, it will fade more quickly if you do not set it. I'm not sure about the 16 hours. Um, I only uh, had it for about 8 hours and in me, at least, I would say that the range will be between 7 to 10 hours depending on how my skin is. I also think that this is a good concealer for oily combination and perhaps even normal skins. I'm not so sure about dry skins though. I think it doesn't have enough um, moisturization and emolliency to look good on a dry skin. On the con side, I feel that it has a very finicky application and it's not one that I would choose when I'm in the morning rush. It sets extremely fast so the application needs to be in one side of your face at a time. It does not like to be applied on the under eye area when it has an excess of emolliency and or uh, silicones in it from a primer or a sunscreen. On the claims it stated that it's crease resistant but I assure you that uh, it was not crease resistant in me. It always creased at minimum here on the lines that I have below my bottom eyelashes and no matter how little I applied with or without setting powder therefore I stopped using setting powder at all since it actually made my under eye area look more dry so what I'm doing now is actually as soon as I see that it has uh, run into the fine lines I will go with the cotton bud one that has a pointy edge like this and then I will pat it with the finger and it will stay well uh, for more four or five hours so as i said for me it's definitely a mixed bag i will continue to use it on account of its coverage uh, this is together with my pat mcgrass the two concealers that i have with the highest coverage so they are useful and this is it for this video i hope it was useful and you enjoyed it if you did please give me a thumbs up thank you very much for watching it really makes me happy that you chose to spend this time with me until next time bye